Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. If this is your first time ever watching a video of mine, hello, my name is Lanye, and we're going to be talking about how I edit my pictures. So, I got this question in my, I think it was my neon smoky eye kind of look, and it was actually a good question because I had been wanting to do this video, but I didn't know if I'd have any interest. So I'm glad I at least have one person that I know for sure is going to watch this video. So if that is something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching and let's get into it. So when editing pictures, it's not as simple as some people may think. Um, I go through, I think, at least three apps to do my pictures. So I first use Facetune. If you've never heard of Facetune, it's just an app that you can download for free. I don't use Facetune too. It's way too confusing. I just use the regular Facetune app and it's pretty easy. Like I, I have no complications with it. I pretty much have everything that I use right here in this photo and video subfolder. So, I know, don't look at my notifications, that annoys the hell out of me. So, I just use the Facetune app, and then after the Facetune app, I will take it to the photo editor app. And in this app, in the Facetune app, let me just start there, I usually just use that to smooth features, I use it to patch up any type of, um, any type of pimples, I use it to brighten up my highlight, I use it to, um, add like vibrancy to the eye, not vibrancy, but add um, detail to the eyes. Um, my highlights and all of that, that's usually what I do is just blur the background, smooth the skin, patch up any pimples if I have any pimples or bumps, um, and detail the eyes and the highlight, and then I might tone the highlighted areas to make them just pop a little bit more. I will go into detail in just a little bit on I'm gonna insert a screen recording on how I do each separate video, but I just wanted to explain which apps I use and why I use them. So after I do what I do in Facetune, I like to go into my photo editor app because there it has a grain tool. And just this past summer, I started using this. Um, I like the kind of like throwback kind of vibe that it gives the pictures. Just I usually use it up to like 30 and that's it. I don't overdo it. When I first started using it, I did overdo it. But especially for beauty shots, I want there to be like a little bit of grain, but I don't want there to be like a crap ton of grain. So, um, yeah, that's the only thing that I, sometimes I'll use a filter. But lately I've been going away from using a filter because I don't want it to adjust the color of the makeup or anything like that. If I'm doing like an outdoor picture, I might use a filter off of this app or something like that but other than that I don't really use any filters on my picture and then after I take it out of the photo editor app I take it right into Instagram the Instagram editing program is so good like here you poo like if you're not using Instagram to edit your pictures you don't even need to use Facetune and stuff I mean it Facetune is completely different but Instagram you can up the saturation you can down the brightness or up the brightness you can sharpen it sharpening is my favorite 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 part <laughs> um, You can sharpen it. I always add a little bit of shadow to my picture um, And then sometimes I might add a little color to it depends on how I'm feeling. I have lipstick on my teeth um, Depending on how I'm feeling, but that is what I do Instagram is the major key alert okay, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's literally pretty much all that I use. Let me, my mouth is parched. So let me just talk about cameras. Um, sometimes I will use my iPhone. I think this is the iPhone <sighs> XS Max. I'm not sure. I think it's 10 or something like that. I don't know. It's not the 11, but yeah, it's not the nine. It's not the, I think it's the 10. 10s x max or something i don't know i can't i don't keep up with these i just get a new one when my last one was cutting up and this is the one that i got so sometimes i will take a picture if i'm taking a picture i will most likely use the back camera and just kind of like um put it on portrait mode and just kind of you know do a little some something, something if i'm using my phone i will use a tripod with a um little clicker that you can get on Amazon. It, um, 
comes with the iPhone or the phone stand and the little button and I'll use that turn it around and just click 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 uh, sometimes I'll be in frame, sometimes I won't. If I know I'm out of frame, like I'll take like five pictures and then I'll turn it around, look through the pictures and see if I'm in the frame or if I'm not. But if you only have your iPhone, definitely use the back. The camera is cleaner, sharper, it picks up color better, it picks up detailing better. It's definitely the better way to go. Now personally for me, I have my Sony um, A5000. I don't believe they make this anymore, but I think they make the A5100 and above. But this is just the camera that I've had for, oh my gosh, since 2014, I think it is. So about six years I've had this camera. I used to film on this camera and then um, the original lens broke and I got this. This is a standardized lens. I think it was $300 when I initially bought it. My manager bought it for me at the time. Shout out to her because I wouldn't have been able to film. <laughs> I was working part time. I didn't have no bread. I was broke. But she actually bought me the lens and I bawled my eyes out. I just bawled my eyes out. So anyway, so I use this with a um, 50, millimeter, 50 millimeter lens and a 1.8 f-stop. So this is what I use. Now this camera has a built-in skin softening effect, so you don't have to do a ton of editing. I still like for some of my pores, because I have big pores right here in the cheek area, I still like for some of my pores to be visible. I don't go over it with the smoothing, but one of these two cameras or something like it will get you a good photo. And I just use the, um, uh, what is it called? I just use the Smart Remote Embedded kind of Thing, and I just connect it to my phone via Wi-Fi and I take pictures um, I can see myself because I obviously plug in my HDMI cord and then I just take the pictures this is my remote and I'll just kind of have it down here and I'll just snap 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 you know do my little modeling thing and that's how it that's how it is so I just scoot it to the side a little bit so that way I can put the screen record right here let me actually put my phone on do not disturb because I don't want nothing coming through so um, let's screen record so you can see my home screen I actually haven't gone through any of my pictures yet but um, you can kind of see what I'm working with um, most of the time I keep saying um a lot that annoys the hell out of me most of the time I will have Jack uh, pick through my pictures because he's really good and I'll have them hearted so the ones that I know that I really like, I'll heart them so that way I know where they are in my albums because sometimes I can get confused on where things are and how things are. So, yes, uh, I'm just going to go through and heart some and see which one I want to edit. I think I'm going to edit. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to edit this one. Okay. So I will go into Facetune first and I go to open photo and then I go to favorites and then I'm going to go to the very very last photo. So the first thing that I'll do is scroll over to defocus and I like to defocus the background. So I'll just scrub along where the lights are and everything. I do this two times. Um, I do defocus and then I'll switch over to blur. And I'll do the blur. Now the reason I'm doing this is because although I have an 8, a 1.8 f-stop, when I use a certain setting on my camera, um, it it keeps it at 4 and I like for my background to be very blurry. And it just isn't as defocused or as blurry as I like for it to be. So this is just, this is unnecessary if you don't really want to, but it's just something that I like to do. So. Um, definitely give it a whirl. All of the apps that I use are free, so um, that is a major key alert. I always go to the erase or the eraser afterwards and just go over my silhouette and make sure that it's not like super blurring out my hair or anything like that. So next I go into details. I always detail before I blur because it just it just makes sense uh, let's see if I can explain this um, you when you're detailing it pulls out 
any imperfections or anything like that in your skin so you want to make sure that you you know don't go crazy with it so when I am adding this detailing I don't swipe I pat so just with my middle finger I'll just pat along like right now I'm doing the cheek area I'm going to take it over the eye I'm gonna zoom in and do the inner tear duct area I'm gonna do my nose I'm gonna do the other eye um, do the inner tear duct now when I'm doing this I don't go over the eyeliner either eyeliner so since I have eyeliner in the crease I also have eyeliner on the lid I'm not gonna go over either of those I'm gonna keep it on that teal color um, right in the center I don't do the crease none of that I just do my lid inner corner nose um, sometimes I'll tap over my eyebrow wherever my highlighter is sometimes I'll do my cupid's bow but um, that's pretty much it so you can kind of see I'm holding down before this is after so you can kind of see what it looks like and how it's going so now that I'm done detailing I'm gonna go into patch just because as I mentioned I have some imperfections I have some pimples so I'm gonna squeeze in I'm going to tap on that pimple right there and then it automatically brought to the skin where they thought it would be best so I'm gonna press this little red button down here at the bottom and voila the pimple is gone I have another one this one's a big crater and I'm actually going to drag it down and boom so both pimples are gone it's like it never existed you can see them here which unfortunately I don't have me a patch tool but with pictures I feel like pictures you really want them to catch somebody's eye so you don't want to have no pimple I mean now if I'm doing a picture where I'm like this is me beautiful raw normal you know every day then that's okay but if I'm doing a beauty shot I want to look my best and that's 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 a story for a different day however I'm gonna scroll over to my smooth I'm going to tap 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 around my face just to add a little extra smoothening um, the cheek areas like I said I like to keep pretty uh, not pretty I like to not go overboard I used to go overboard with the smoothing um, but now I don't I'm going over my chest area right now making sure that everything is pretty smoothed out to the best ability I used to go crazy mainly because I had uh, upper lip hair <laughs> and I was subconscious yeah subconscious or self subconscious something I was something about it and I just didn't want people seeing my upper lip hair so that was that so now I'm going to check mark my smooth that means that I'm completely happy with how everything looks and then I'm going to go over to tones so tones I'm going to go to palette sometimes I'll use the picker tool and go right on the tip of my nose and use that color but most of the time I'll scroll over to like the golden shade and then I'll go all the way over to like the light kind of white golden and then I'm going to scroll in and once again tap don't drag just right over the cheek area that's going to give it a nice pop uh, on that cheek and then you can take some on the bridge of the nose use the eraser tool just to um, slide in the sides because you don't want it to be too wide I don't need to do the tip of my nose just because when I detailed it it was pretty bright you can add just a smidge on the other cheek so that way it kind of looks like you have a little highlight I always go in with the eraser tool and just tap around the edges so right around the edges I'll just kind of tap just to make it not as harsh and then voila I'm just tapping a little bit more off from the other side of the cheek because although I want it to look like I have highlighter over there I don't want it to look unnatural trust me some of my old pictures I go back and look at like the ones that you'll see in my intro little fun video my makeup tutorials and I cringe <laughs> so um, you don't want it to look unnatural you want it to look pretty darn natural like it's already like it's highlighter now another tip is you can use like you can use this golden yellow white shade and then you can also go to white and just right dab in the center and of the highlighted area 
and that'll give it kind of like that wet glossy look I'm personally not a fan of it so I don't go for it so you can see the bef this is the before and this is the after check mark that and I think that's pretty much it so I'm going to save to my camera roll now I'm going to go into photo editor and I'm going to find that picture Okay, and then I'm going to go over to grain, and there's two of these. So the left one, um, sometimes I'll use that one, sometimes I use the right. I just kind of flick back and forth to see which one I'm feeling a little more that day. I usually use it at about a 30, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use the right one today. I've been using the right one more than I've been using the left lately. Um, it just seems a little more fine. So uh, the other one's a little more like chunky. So I'm just going to check mark that, save it. That's all I do in that app, like I mentioned. And then I'm going to go into Instagram. So Instagram is where I do all of my color editing. Because once you see, um, or when you see this picture, it's pretty washed out so you don't get a lot of color and I like a lot of saturation as you can see in this video it's pretty saturated I like a lot of saturation so I'll bring up the saturation to like a 15 and just kind of play around with it from there um, so this is what the Instagram tool looks like I go over to saturation then I'm going to go to shadows. I usually tap it down to a five. Um, the saturation doesn't really, or the shadow doesn't really do too, too, too much, but I just feel better when I do it. <laughs> then the sharpening tool is my favorite. I usually go up to a 65. Um, you can tap all the way to the left side or tap all the way to the right side and it'll move it up one. Or you can use a slide tool, but I like even numbers if you can't tell. Five, negative 5, negative 15, or positive 15, positive 65, like, it has to be an increment of 5, or else I'm just like, I'd malfunction, <laughs> so, or sometimes I do like a 70, but anyways, you get it, increments of 5, um, and this looks good, it looks good, I might go up to 70, it depends, I usually do a little more editing before I decide on my sharpening portion because what the sharpening does is really pulls out those colors it really makes everything look clean it makes it look crisp that's what i feel like some people missing are missing out of their pictures especially if you're using a smoothing feature um, you want to make sure that you sharpen the picture up so it looks crisp and clean and it also is going to bring out the color in the 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 makeup it'll bring out the makeup so the color tool um just adds a little bit of as you can see color to the picture I never usually do more than 10 or 15 um, this is before this is with the pink I don't normally do pink I'll do purple or I'll do blue it depends on how I'm feeling um, the teal is just a little too much the green is too much um, blue and pink or blue purple and maybe pink is the way that I'll go. Red is really nice too. Orange and yellow are just a little much. So like I said, red, purple, or pink will be what I what I do. Um, this just, I don't know, it just adds a little, a little tent to the picture. It's not overly done because I'm only using um, 10. Now if I feel like 10 is a little much, I'll go down to five. Um, you can see what five looks like. It just is a little bit of color. Um, I usually think that purple brings out the colors more than blue, but <laughs> now since I've got purple in the crease, I feel like purple is going to do me a little more justice. So since I added that purple, I'm just going to tap up. A couple for the saturation now the saturation I'm not gonna do 20 because that's a little that's a little much but 17 is right in between 17 and 18 is right in between and I feel like that might because look at that look how gray and washed out that is and look how 
it looks like true to color. So I'm going to do 17 because I don't want to do overboard because you can overdo your saturation. Like, like if you go up here, that's just too much. Um, even 20, I feel like it's too much. So I'm going to do, ooh, do 17 or 18. Let's do 18 and then I'm going to sharpen just a smidge more. Yeah. I still can't decide 17 or 18. Okay, I'm gonna stick with 18 and this is gonna be my picture. So I will have it to where it's not gonna go on my Facebook page because I have a Facebook in, or a Facebook makeup by Lon page. I'm going to share it, it's going to save, and I'm gonna hurry up and, uh, oops, I'm going to archive it. So that way it's already there. So whenever I'm ready to upload it, um, you won't see it on here, but you'll see it on here. Like I'll see it. So I'll be able to like unarchive it. Um, most of the time, if it's archived and you unarchive it, unarchive it, <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll archive. Oh, thanks B. I'm so glad I have you, honey. You're so smart. Um, archive. <laughs> Um, but if you unarchive it, it'll be from the time that you uploaded it. So I usually just archive it just to hide it from you guys liking it without me putting a caption and the details and all of that stuff. So when I do re-upload this picture, it'll be re-uploaded from my photo album. But this is the final picture and I think it looks pretty darn good from the before to the after. It looks sharper, it looks more um, true to color. It looks like what you see in this picture or in this camera, in this video. Uh, it just it just looks really good. And do y'all check out my baby hairs because I thinned them out again. And just the progression of baby hairs from the past week is just like, I think I finally got it. Like I literally think I finally got it. So. That is the final picture. I'm going to stop my screen recording now. And yeah. So I hope that you guys found this helpful, useful. It's a 22 minute video and yeah, I, I really enjoyed filming this video. I enjoyed talking about this stuff, like the, like the techie stuff, not techie, but like the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't get to see is fun to me. Like I, I'm always showing you guys my setup. I'm always showing you guys the different things that I'm trying, the different things that I'm doing. Like, I think all of that stuff is so cool. And I just love it. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I could do this video for you guys. I hope you found something new. Send me your pictures on Instagram. Tag me in them. I would love to see how you edit your next picture. All of these apps are free, so make sure to download Facetune. Make sure to download um, Photo Editor if you like the grainy kind of look. If you don't, don't worry about it. But make sure you have Facetune, and then you can use the Instagram tools to up your saturation, down your shadow, add a little bit of color tinge if you want to. Definitely sharpen your pictures. That's a must, especially if you use the smoothing effect. And yeah, make sure not to smooth your eyeshadow. We don't do that. Period who okay don't do that but yeah i think that's all i have that's how i do my pictures major key takeaways would be to sharpen pictures use whatever camera you have technically i could use my dslr that i film on but i'm extra and i use two separate separate cameras but they work for me so use what you have um always sharpen and always up the saturation so the two s's sharpen saturation always and you'll be good so i hope you enjoyed i love you all so much don't forget to subscribe before you go and i'm out i'm i'm tired it's 10 48 like period poo who am i okay i can't stop saying period poo <laughs> bye y'all